Welcome back to your YouTube channel, Accounts Guru Cool. Learn accounting online. So today we are here. You can see that we are here. Happy to share one AI chat GPT mock example of how FVNA can use can use chat GPT practical scenario. So first instance how we have done the mock test towards chat gpt how we ask the query how we ask the request towards chat gpt and what we have the answer that's all we are going to discuss in a practical scenario what we asked what we received the answer from chat gpt based on our mock dream on chat gpt that's the practical scenario I'm going to discuss with all of our viewers and need to know how chat GPT is going to help for us to get the instance result, what we ask and in what format, how you have to raise the request and how you will be able to get the answers from the chat GPT. That's the one practical scenario. We are here with that for all of our viewers. So request viewers to be with us till the end of this to know how chat GPT is going to work in FVNA. Request viewers to like, share and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance. In addition to that, if you are looking for any consultancy related to accounting and finance, that's going to be either it's a virtual CFO or you are looking for any support for finance analyst, FVNA or controller, or you want to outsource your accounting work or you look any support for doing the reconciliations, streamline your processes or build some automations. Or if you are looking to us any sort of training related to accounting and finance, you can connect with us on our email ID accounts touchgurukul at the rate yahoo.com. So we'll jump towards the request what we raised to chat GPT when we are doing the mock drill and what's the output for that. So yes, so we are here. This is the what we ask for chat GPT. We ask chat GPT to provide a mock example of how FVNA can use it to create a quarterly sales performance report. And here's what it gave us. The request what we raised is that generate a quarterly sales performance report for Q1 2023, including a summary of total sales, a breakdown of sales by product category, and a comparison of sales performance to the previous quarter. So this is the one request we asked in mock example to us chat GPT. And the questions is going to be, it's a straightforward, generate a quarterly sales performance report for Q1 23. First, generate the report from system for sales performance for Q1 2023, which includes summary of total sales, a breakdown of sales by product category, and comparison of sales performance to the previous quarter. This is the questions we ask in our mock examples. You won't believe what the answer is. And that's going to be how from the chat GPT within a fraction of a second and what the answer is. Yeah, the magic is here. The chat GPT output quarterly sales performance report for Q1 23 Executive summary, 
total sales for Q1 2023 reached to 2 million, representing a 10% increase compared to Q4 2022. The growth in sales can be primarily attributed to the strong performance of the hardware and software product categories. Sales breakdown product, hardware. This is the first query we ask generate a quarterly sales performance report for Q1, including summary of total sales. So this is the total sales. Total sales for Q1 2023 reach 2 million, representing a 10% increase compared to Q4 2022. And the growth in sales can be primarily attributed to the strong performance of the hardware and software product categories. Next is sales breakdown by product category. Hardware, that's 1 million, 50% of total sale. Software, that's 600,000, 30% of total sales. Printer, 260,000, 13% of total sales. Spares, 140,000, 7% of total sales. And next, we ask for sales performance sales performance comparison. Hardware sales increased by 15% compared to Q4 2022 and while software sales grew by 12%, printer sales remained stable and spare sales experienced a slight decline of 5%. Based on the data, it is recommended to focus on further expanding the hardware and software segments while identifying opportunities to improve sales in the spares category. Since the sales is declined by 5% and hardware and software is increased, that's the reasons it's mentioned based on the data, it is recommended to focus on further expanding the hardware and software segment. This mock example demonstrate how chat GPT can help FVNA professionals create a financial report by providing a structured summary of sales performance, including key insights and recommendations. The last, remember to always review and verify the output to ensure accuracy and relevance. So at the end of the day, this is the chat GPT. This is going to be not take the ownership of this data. What's there in the systems based on that, the chat GPT is providing the details, but it's giving the disclaimer says, remember to always review and verify the output to ensure accuracy and relevance. Now, if you see that, if same questions, if we ask to FNA team, then that's going to be take a time to provide these answers. But FNA also able to, but going to take some time for that. But if chat GPT is there, within a fraction of seconds, you are able to get the answer in a structured way. What you ask based on that, this is a request and this is a chat GPT output with all what you asked. In addition to that, it's recommendation everything. But now the question is that either this sale, hardware sales is just increased as compared to Q1 to Q4, Q1 versus previous years Q4. But either the Q1, in the Q1, that order is for one time or that's going to be continued for the further that somebody need to evaluate. And that's reason it's mentioned, remember to always review and verify the output to ensure accuracy and relevance. So at the end of the day, you are able to get the details based on what's there in the systems, but to review, to ensure the accuracy, to take the ownership of that number, to have the completeness, somebody need to check for that. And that's reason, as we mentioned in earlier content as well, what we uploaded about the drawbacks of ChatGPT. We have to 
ensure the accuracy and completeness of that data. So that's the reason. Don't assume that chat GPT is going to be keep all of us away from accounting and finance. Chat GPT is going to be help for us to have all these reports instantly to do the further analysis, further review, or instead of pulling the data from the systems and using the formula for that, it's going to have the instance answer what you ask and how it's going to be work. This is all the formula driven or build the formula. How it's going to be the hardware sales is 50% of the total sales. It's going to be straight away divided by total sales. This is hardware sales divided by total sales into 100. This formula is built over there. Hardware, that word is going to be captured from the our category of the sales. Software from there, total of this. Printer, spares. What we use the formula when we are doing the manual, that same is going to be build the, you can say build the query and add it into the software. If somebody asks you to provide this report, what steps you are following, that same steps is captured through the query, through the language and added into the software. And that's going to be considered with nomenclatures as a chat GPT. But whatever it may be behind that, I'm just stating how it's how how that's going to work. So here it's a one we asked chat GPT to provide a mock example of how FVNA can use it to create a quarterly sales performance report. And this is a, what we have against our request about chat GPT output. So just think how this chat GPT is going to be held for FNA team to have instance report in place. So that's all from this. So we have the ample time now to put towards the additional analysis, which are going to give the insight to the management, or we are able to do some value addition for business. So think from that standpoint and take it as a positive for all these things. So request viewers to be with us to have more insight about accounting and finance and request viewers to like, share and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance. Thank you.